Welcome back. It is now time for What's Hot, where we talk about stories that have us all talking. And we're joined by Tracy Johnson. Tracy Johnson with Tempo Milwaukee, plus Jeff Wagner is back. All right, topic number one. Vending machine laws that, that limit sugary snacks and drinks in schools may in fact be working. A study out of Chicago reports states that have these laws are already improving childhood obesity numbers. Researchers do note this is the first study of its kind and more information is needed. Guys, what do you think about this? Well, I think it's way too early to tell and to draw any sort of conclusions about this. I, again, I, I, the, the idea of laws, we're saying that we're not going to have a vending machine that sells soda or something. I still don't believe that that's the way to go. If you're going to solve obesity, it starts with education and it starts with the parents being involved. Because just because you can't buy a Mountain Dew at school doesn't mean that you can't buy a giant Mountain Dew on the way home from school unless mom and dad are involved. Yeah, and these kids are spending, what, 30, 40, 50 percent of their day in school. Think about all the time they're spending with these bad influences, their friends and their families that might not be educated. The other point, too, is that there are so many factors that go into childhood obesity. We're talking about socioeconomics. We're talking about demographics. We're talking about access to education and this, this food. Um, so I, I just think it's too early to tell. And you're, you're talking about a study that, that I think is too disparate. And parents have a really easy way to keep their kids from getting their hands on, you know, sugary drinks or, you know, just say no. fried foods. <laughs> right. Don't give them the two bucks in the morning. Well, but they don't know, and they're not making those decisions, and they're not having that oversight, and they're not taking the time, or they just don't know. Well, see, and I also, I've always believed that the whole thing is moderation. I, I mean, look, you're, you're, you're not going to be an, an obese child because you have that Mountain Dew every once in a while. Now, if you drink a six-pack of Mountain Dew and nothing else, or all you eat is Big Macs, well, okay, that's going to be a whole health thing, but I, I think you have to teach people moderation. Every Everybody has to learn that and banning stuff or not allowing access to me, I think sometimes that just makes it, okay, this is the forbidden fruit. Now I got to go out and see how many Hostess cupcakes I can eat at once because I can't get them anywhere. Well, mm. Mm. well, you know, I grew <laughs> up in a house that had diet beverages in it, mostly um, because my mother just didn't like the taste of regular soda. And now as an adult, I don't like it either. It's just too sweet for me. That's yeah. just what I got used to. I mean, there, there might be something to limiting access in that regard. It's kind of what you get used to. If you can get used to not having it, right. then you can still be happy, maybe. I don't but know. But then there's the whole issue, you like, like juices. I mean, like, um, you know, some people, if you're concerned about sugars and carbohydrates, you, you're not supposed to drink various kind of juices. Apple juice is right. just as bad as the soda sometimes. Yeah, yeah. orange Ooh. juice, the whole thing. So it's all, what do you? What do you drink, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it, it most of it comes down to access and that education to your point earlier, Jeff. And, and I think that's totally lacking, especially in some of the, the poorer areas of the country. All right, guys, we'll move on to our next topic after the break. Coming up.